Hey everyone, Ben here from Monday.com CRM team. And today I'm gonna to walk you through our solution, the different boards and dashboards that have been created uh, within it. And finally, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to customize any of these boards or dashboards to fit your needs specifically. One of the greatest values that Monday.com CRM solution provides is the ability to customize it. We have built a, board, a solution that works uh, can work perfectly for you, but every company works differently. And so the ability to easily customize anything and change any flow as your team grows and as your process grows uh, is one of our greatest values. Okay, great. So what do we have? Well, the first board that we have is the deal board. This is where most of the communication, where most of the information lies. Um, and I will dive into this at a greater deal at a later point. For now, I want to go into the rest of the flow. So the first thing that you will see over here is a lead board. Now I can manually create any lead that I would like and start filling in uh, information. Uh, I can pull it in from a form if I would like to, that can be embedded or sent to any of our customers. I can pull it in from JotForm, Facebook ads. We have a whole bunch of different ways that we can start pulling in information. We can even just import uh, a group of items in um, that can be found from Excel or from wherever you currently are storing uh, your leads. I can then say, okay, this this contact is now being qualified. And as you see, when I clicked on move to contacts, it disappeared. Well, it didn't really disappear. We used an automation that says, move it to the contacts board. So I'm saying, okay, once this is qualified, let's move it to the contact, the qualified board. And as you can see, it can be seen right here. And this brings us to our second board. We have all of our contacts uh, in one place. When we have the accounts associated with it, we have the deals associated with it. Uh, and why this is important is what I can start doing is I can start associating uh, multiple contacts with one specific uh, account. And so if I were to then go into the account and look for HSBF and go into account, you can then start seeing the multiple contacts that are uh, considered part of the account board. And so just to summarize, up until now, we have a mail deal board, a main deal board where we see all of the information. We have the leads, which can then be turned into contacts, which can be associated with an account. From there, we have activities. This activity board I will get into at a later stage and much more in depth in another video called email activities. But this is basically where we can start storing all activities or communication that we have with our customers across multiple boards in one place so we can start gathering uh, data as in who is making the most sales, who's closing the most leads, uh, things like that. Okay, let's carry on. This is a dashboard. Uh, in this dashboard, you can see our training. So how to get started, the different videos, uh, giving us feedback, all of this can be help you get started within Monday.com. And then finally, we have a, a dashboard where you can see all of the activity, all of um, a high level view of everything that is happening. So this can also be customized as much as you want. You can move things wherever you want to move it. Um, you can make things bigger and smaller. You can change the information within it. Uh, but basically what this allows is you to take a multiple board in one place. You can then start seeing all of the relevant uh, information. Okay, great. Now I want to go in and show you basically how easy it is to start customizing uh, information. So let's go to the deals board to do this and let's create a new deal and let's call this deal name uh, four. Uh, we can, as you can see, we have tasks uh, that you can create um, and you can have some subtasks and you can move things around easily. Um, we're going to leave that out for now. The first thing we're going to do is create uh, an owner. So someone that is responsible for dealing with this specific account, but we're not actually going to call it an owner. Let's call this uh, account manager and we can't actually see that so let's make that a little bit bigger and as you can see while i'm playing this playing around with this live with you you can see how easy it is to actually customize it over here we can see contacts contacts i gave you a hint in our account and contacts board but basically what this is doing is pulling in information from another board so we can see it in one place so i can say okay let's sync uh, actually just one just jamal 
Um, and now that it's synced, I can say, okay, let me pull up information. And without needing to leave the board, I can start seeing all of the relevant information uh, in one place. Over here, we have the same thing for accounts. Over here, we have a, a stage. A stage is just a status column that we've repurposed, um, and you can edit anything as easily as you want. So let's say um, we want to create another lead. Let's make it pink, and let's say um, unqualified. And now we can go ahead and we can create a new one just uh, that easily. Over here, we have priority, which is the same concept, another status column that we've repurposed. Over here we have deal length. Deal length is a formula column. Now this formula column is extremely helpful uh, for most of our calculations as it takes data from a specific item and provides certain insights. So over here, what we're trying to understand is we're trying to understand how long the deal has been alive um, from when it's already originally being created. Now, if the specific uh, contract is one, then the, then the deal uh, ends, but that's quite complex and we don't need to dive into the specific breakdown of how this um, formula works just know that you can create different values like this by yourself over here we have deal value this is a simple number column where i'm going to start adding in uh, funds i can change my currency uh, to be whatever i want it to be um and over here we have close probability so again this is just another numbers column and i'm going to set 80 percent and what we can see over here is a uh, how we can calculate our forecast value and what we're basically saying is let's take the deal value and times it by the close probability and that will give us a thing so as you can see we've repurposed our formula column for two different uh, values over here we have much more information we have location uh, that we can start adding in uh, but we can start adding in and removing information just as easily so let's say i'm interested in a file column to add in all of the quotes let's go ahead and actually rename that and let's say quotes uh, i can go ahead and start adding that information but i can just as easily uh, delete it it's really up to me and how I want to build this specific workflow. Now, there's many, many more values that you can see within uh, this platform. Uh, we just don't have time today to go into them. For example, we could take all of this data and see it in a visual way. Uh, we can see it as a Kanban. And obviously, when, uh, this, when we move it to a different stage, so to will the status uh, change in the other side, uh, we can move this all along. So one will actually be all the way at there end um let's say negotiation goes before proposal uh however you want to build it everything is highly customizable uh and uh, yeah i hope you enjoy play around with our automations um i quickly want to touch on our email and activities app this is a app where we can start sending emails from directly within Monday and start storing it all. We can also start saving uh, different types of meetings, call summaries, meetings, um, and that all of these activities can be seen in that activities board that I was referring to earlier. So if I am gonna go ahead and set up a meeting, this by the way is synced with my uh, actual uh, Gmail account, so I can make sure that I'm not double booking myself. Um, but basically all of these meetings can be synced and seen in the activities board and therefore i can see on a high level how many um how many phone calls were created in the last month how many emails were sent etc etc hope you enjoy and let us know if you have any questions comments or concerns we're here to hear your thoughts and make it uh, the best crm platform out there